At BISIM, we're working to optimize the VBS3 engine for fast error simulation. This video compares VBS2 version 1.6 with VBS3 version 3.4 and highlights some new technology which includes object aggregation, view distance and object draw distance improvements, and forced rendering of sub-pixel sized objects. Here's VBS2 version 1.6. You can see the low frame rate and the stuttering which is due to high object count and large view distances. Due to this, in VBS2, fast air simulation was severely limited. Here's a similar scene in VBS3 version 3.4. You'll note there's a significant performance improvement that comes from the new real-time object aggregation tech and other optimizations. Next, let's look at new improvements to render small objects at extreme ranges in VBS3. In this scene, you can see the Naval Task Force visible from an extended range. In this case, about 15 kilometers. This tech is automatically applied to any objects that are over 50 meters in length and can be manually applied to anything smaller. In this instance, we have a squadron of jets flying in the background. Turning the subpixel rendering on and off shows how the tech makes it possible to observe aircraft beyond the typical object view distance limits. We're very pleased with our progress as we optimize VBS3 for fast air. Stay tuned for more feature videos coming soon.